So when it first powers up, this is what your display looks like, and uh, you can get it to activate by pressing the temperature up button. So currently the spa is in sleep mode, which means that it's the lowest energy use uh, that you can set it for. And it will not let it get any colder than 20 degrees below whatever your current temperature setting is. You can tell your current temperature setting by just pressing uh, either the temperature buttons to adjust it. And 80 is the minimum temperature uh, that it can be set for. It won't be set for anything less than that. Uh, you can change to different modes by pressing the up button and then the mode and you can see it cycling between sleep, standard, and economy. And standard is what you probably want to have normally when uh, you want to make sure it's good and hot. Uh, and then you just use the up button to uh, dial in whatever temperature you really want. So it will, if it's in standard mode, if it's not to temperature, the pumps will go on and the heater will go on until it gets to temperature. You can't set it any higher than 104. Uh, I typically set it about 101. So the other mode is economy. It's in economy there, now in sleep again. Uh, in economy, it only turns the heaters on when the pumps go on, which is either you've turned them on manually or they go on on a timer. So you may want to change the setting for the when the pumps go on automatically and how long they go on for. I use fill two, which I think means two hours per day. And you can set it by touching the down button and then uh, the button in the, the pump one button in the lower left. Other settings are four, six, eight, and continuous. And uh, continuous, I guess, would mean the filter runs until you tell it, turn it off, which seems like a, a bad idea. I believe the uh, settings are number of hours, so fill four is four hours per day in two sessions, so it would be two two-hour sessions. So I turn the power off at the breaker at the time that I want it to go on in the morning, so at seven, for, after I've powered it up, the next day if 7.30 is the right time, I'll power it off and then back on again because fill two goes on twice a day, 12 hours apart at that time. So it'll go on at 7.30 in the morning and it'll go on at 7.30 in the evening. And when it first turns on, the air blower goes on and it makes a boatload of noise uh, for about 30 seconds. And uh, so I don't like it to go off in the middle of the night or anything. If you didn't care about that, that would be you wouldn't need to worry about it. But I like to control the time that it goes off. So lastly, just a couple notes on chemicals. pH down is pretty much the one you only need to use because our water is so alkaline. I use this little black spoon and I use one spoon of that uh, per week pretty much just to keep it in maintenance. And this chlorine is really cheap, uh, and this will last you a long time, but I use three of these scoops per week, pretty much, and I test it to see that I'm not under or over. Uh, but three gives you a pretty strong blast, and then it uh, decays from there. Good luck!